Hello and welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're going to look at a VBA lesson. We're going to learn VBA lesson number five. Uh, we're going to see what happens when you record a macro. We're going to look at the code and we're going to try and rewrite it in a more efficient and sensible way. So this is really to try and make you understand what recorded macro code actually means and uh, enable you to to be a bit more efficient when you do it so it, it, in this example all I've got is um, a spreadsheet we've got share price this is share price yesterday this is the share price today all I've done is I've said it, today's price is yesterday's price minus a random number times 10 shares seem to go down every day now so um, I'm going to click F9 so this is a live ticking share and it, it goes up and down at the end of the day what we do is we save the share price over to here and when we come in in the morning we get the change the daily change that's all we're doing so manually what I would do is I would copy press control C right click here paste special values click OK and that value went across here we've got the new share price today and this will be the daily change so we can do this every day but let's say we don't want to do it manually every day we want to record the actions and then maybe add a button so let's do exactly that so if you haven't got the developer ribbon you go here Excel options click the show De developer tab in the ribbon then record macro hit OK select that copy it control C right click paste special values hit OK and then hit escape that gets rid of the cut copy mode go and have a look at the code uh, it's in module 1 so what is it done it's selected C7 oh, actually one thing we need to do is stop recording okay selected C7 copied it go to B7 and paste special the values and then get rid of the cut copy mode the cut copy mode is just the thing that revolves around the cell when you copy it or cut it so it turns out that this is this will work so I can insert a form and allocate it to that code and I can click it every day every time I click it it will work so that's fine this will work for forever it's nothing I need to do but suppose I do thousands of these and then I end up with some very unwieldy code and there's lots of lines everywhere and I want to condense it well it, it turns out that this can be condensed to a single line sub uh, copy over and in this case I'm just going to use the code that we've already got here and I'll say that range B7 dot value is equal to range C7 dot value and to prove to you that this does exactly the same thing I will run it so click in it press F8 and all we're doing is we're saying range b7 dot value so the value of this cell is equal to that value so it's just that hit f8 notice it copied the value over this then recalculated because it's a, a function that recalculates when this when something changes and there we go so that's how to condense one two three four five six lines into one there are lots of ways to improve the code that you generate when you record macros and we'll probably go into those later in further VBA training sessions from excelexperts.com. Thank you for listening. Bye.